G-I-G-N. The G-I-G-N, which stands for, and before we say it, we'd like to apologize to our French viewers in advance, Groupe d'Intervention de la Gendarmerie Nationale. That's English for National Gendarmerie Intervention Group. And now that that's over with, let's get back to it. The GIGN is France's premier counterterrorism unit, both being a part of the French Armed Forces and an elite tactical unit of the French National Gendarmerie. This means that it is technically not a special operations unit, rather, it is a paramilitary unit. Labels aside, this unit is known for their use of revolvers, and is one of the most highly trained counterterrorism units in the world. Despite being mainly used in France, they can and have been deployed worldwide if needed. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. If you want to learn more about the elite unit GIGN, its missions, capabilities, training, and much more, sit back relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. The GIGN's motto, translated to English, is a commitment for life. It is headquartered near Paris and Versailles Satori. Since its creation, the GIGN has been involved in over 1,800 missions and rescuing over 600 hostages. Because terrorism comes in many forms, they are capable of responding to a multitude of scenarios. For example, the GIGN responds to hijacking, nuclear attacks, chemical or biological attacks, hostage rescue, riots in prisons, risks or threats to vital interests for the state, and neutralizing criminals of high caliber. If that wasn't enough, they also have the know-how to protect high-profile personnel and dignitaries inside and outside of France, and have the capabilities to gather and collect intelligence and information on the enemy. GIGN is also a member of the European Atlas Network, which is an informal association consisting of the special police units of the 28 states of the European Union. As for the makeup of the GIGN, it is divided up into five forces. There's the Intervention Force, which is the GIGN's main assault unit. This force is divided into platoons and teams of operators, with half of the platoon specializing in high-altitude jumps and the other half in diving. Then there's the Observation and Search Force. This force specializes in reconnaissance work that pertains to judiciary police work and counterterrorism. The next force is the Security and Protection Force. This is the part of the GIGN that specializes in executive and sensitive site protection. Then underneath that force is the Gendarmerie Detachment of the GSPR Presidential Security Group, which is pretty much like the Secret Service for the French President. They are the security detail who protect them. Then there's the Operational Support Force, which consists of specialized cells from long-range sniping, breaching, bomb squad, assault engineering, special devices, and much more. And last but not least, the training force. This force is charged with the selection and training of GIGN operators. Think of these like your instructor cadre, so to speak. Due to the complexities of the job for GIGN members, there are a number of specialties that are available. With over 300 personnel in GIGN, there is plenty of room for learning a trade. There are divers, negotiators, snipers, protection personnel, parachutists, dog handlers, technicians, instructors, and many more. Pretty much anything you can imagine in a special operations paramilitary unit is available to to you if you're in the GIGN. The GIGN receives helicopter air support by Gendarmerie helicopters, and for large-scale deployments, France's GIH, which is a Joint Army Air Force Special Operations Unit that is equipped with SA-330 Puma helicopters. Also, while not technically a part of GIGN, the GIGN also supervises 20 different nuclear protection platoons. As you're probably beginning to see, the GIGN does it all. Typically, units as elite as the GIGN have operators who have proven themselves to be able to serve in that capacity. With that said, what's the selection process like for the GIGN? Let's get into it. We'll give this to you straight off the bat. Less than 10% of those who initially volunteer make it through GIGN selection. The first thing candidates go through is a one-week pre-selection screening, and if you're selected from that, you move on to a 14-month long training program. During the 14 months, candidates will receive training in marksmanship, airborne training, hand-to-hand -hand combat, diplomacy, mountain, urban, and arctic warfare, and most skills generally needed to become an operator. What's important to know about the GIGN schooling is that it 
it is considered as one of the best shooting schools in the entire world. That means that if you find yourself on the other side of a barrel from a GIGN operator, I wouldn't want to be you. In fact, they are so trained up in their shooting skills that right at the end of their 14 month training, pairs of candidates take turns shooting each other with their weapons. Yes, you heard that right, they shoot each other. It is known as Glatier de Confiance. It is the final test of a GIGN candidate. The shooter lines up 15 meters away from their colleague and takes a shot at a clay pigeon on the person they're shooting at with a 357 MR73 revolver, which is then issued to every new graduate as a ceremonial weapon. This is a very important exercise for each GIGN operator, as it instills trust in both themselves and in those they work alongside with. So how does one join the GIGN? For you American folk looking for a change of pace, you can't just fly over to France and show up to selection. First up, you need to be a French citizen, and most importantly, you need to join the Gendarmerie first. The National Gendarmerie is a branch of the French Armed Forces, in charge of public safety, with police duties among the civilian population. After four years of exemplary service, you can apply to join them. You'll need to be under 34 years of age and pass their physical, psychological, and medical requirements. You'll also go through a series of interviews, personality questionnaires, and tests. The GIGN carries out their selection process twice a year. And there you have it for the GIGN. To recap, they are France's elite paramilitary unit that is on par with several special operations forces throughout the world. If you want to know more about global soft units, we did a video on the UK Special Air Service. The link to that will be in the description below. Well, that is the down and dirty of France's GIGN. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button. Or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to general discharge and you don't even want to be here.